Hey everybody, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back to Let's Replay Lunar 2 Eternal Lunar Complete. In our last episode, a lot happened. Uh, Lucian was cursed by Zophar on her way out of the Blue Spire, and now she is weak as all hell. We gotta backtrack our way out of here and bring her home to see what we can do, if anything, really. Oh, crap. I kinda totally forgot about you. Um, can we leave? I mean, we can stay here. We can eat slimes for food. Because there's a no way in hell we're fighting that thing. Actually, yeah, we, we kind of have to. <laughs> yeah, there's no way around it. <sighs> okay, deep breath. And, uh, I actually wanted to leave real quick just to show off this little extra scene here. Let's see, scene. That's what I was going for. Anyway, preparations I went over last episode. Um, Lucia doesn't matter where she is, she'll get killed eventually anyway. You want Hero up front <coughs> and Gwen way in the back there, space far apart as possible. Um, I'm only on 10 and 11 for levels. If you want to do some level grinding, uh, do it before Lucia gets cursed. For really, for really easy time for it. Uh, level 12, Gwen will learn Shattered Sword, which will lower the target's attack rating. Which will be very, very helpful here. But I'm going without it. For boss time! Against the Guardian, the first boss of the game. Now we see him flashing like that, he's going to use a uh, stack upper move. He will raise his, his attack and defense by a small chunk. So exactly why you want Fractured Armor and Shattered Sword. Dodge this. Things to be a little hairy here because um, I have no way of lowering his attack power. <laughs> so, um... Uh, whoa! Glint's rather spunky for an old guy, wow. <coughs> Yeah, besides that, you know, other attacks he has are just the, um, he'll, sm he'll smash it with his mace, that's pretty much it. Dodge yeah, you want Hero up front here, and win Wing in the back, because Hero will be tanking in this battle, and you don't want Gwen to hit. And yeah, you want Gwen just to stay back and focus on healing and debuffing here. Besides that, I love the, the, the debuffs already, actually, and they're really, really useful, too. Whoa! Crap, that hurts. Uh, Gwyn, uh, Herb, Hero, now. That was painful. Dodge <laughs> this! Yeah, this will be a little hairy scary here because, uh, he's kind of extra powerful. Uh, anyway. Yeah, that was actually. Uh, did less. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Yeah, definitely. If you Dodge have a bunch this. of herbs, you'll want to use them here to help conserve Gwyn Gwyn's MP. Because he pretty much fully heal the damage from the Guardian's attacks anyway, so there you go. So yeah, they wanted to you can farm up to 20 of these from the uh, Crystal Knights in the tower there, so that might be your best bet actually. Just to help conserve with healing, conserve your MP and all that. But really that's all there is to it. Um, yeah, Shattered Sword would be helpful here too, but uh, I'm going gun-ho and without it. And Hero will not die. <laughs> Hope he doesn't die. That would be totally tragic. Might have him hero himself actually here. Yeah, hero, herb yourself, uh, Gwen, go for a fraction armor there. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not how you want to handle this battle. <laughs> I'm gonna be quite honest. Um, I'm just trying something new here. I generally don't do it this way. As I was saying before, I generally get to level 12 to get Shattered Sword here, which is very, very helpful here. But luckily, the Guardian still isn't that hard anyway, being the first boss of the game Dodge there. This. That's pretty much why they want, want Lucia to be really powerful, because you can gain levels really, really Take quick. So you have Ratchet Armor and Shattered Sword there. You know, I was saying before, yeah, I love the debuffs we have already. Being able to lower attack and defense is very, very helpful. And it'll be even more so later on. We'll get. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, but yeah, we'll be able to get status beat. B duffs, <laughs> uh, status debuffs, and all that, which will be very, very helpful for making random battles a lot easier on us. So there we go. Now, one thing I want to say regarding the, um, the Guardian's HP, um, I, I mean, I've heard there's two sides to this. I've heard that um, on one hand, his HP is scaled to um, to hero's level, um, and also um, it's just a fixed amount of HP. Um, like, it's a certain amount of times Hero's level is his HP there. Um, yeah. Uh, Hero, please get back on your feet now. <laughs> this is going to be a little hairy scary. This is not the way you want to do this battle. Believe you me. 
He killed Boomerang, Dwayne drove for calm with me, like now. Dodge this! Boomerang, can you please kill him? Wonderful. Yes! Woo! Okay, okay. That was too close for comfort. Yeah, you definitely want to hit level 12 before fighting that guy. That was not the way to handle that. I just felt like going for something new in that case. But I got him all the same. Had to spare an angel's tear there, but that's why they're there. So, <laughs> okay, deep breath. We're good. We can move on now. Let's see. Watch. Let's see, Gwyn is now 11 strength points away from 12. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh well. Oh, excuse me. We beat them all the same, so we're good to go. He's that got pretty hairy, scary there. Normally, a first boss in the game shouldn't be that hard or that hairy, scary. I'm liking that phrase, hairy, scary. <laughs> it kind of fits the scene here pretty damn well. Anyway, yeah, Lucia. She'll only take one damage from most things, actually, but, um, she will get one shot by anything anyway. But, I mean, she's cursed, so we can't really do too much about it anyway, so, yeah. What do you need to do? Anyway, you gotta make your way back out of here. I wanna try to avoid the battles on the way back. If I can, great. If not, eh, I mean, they're easy enough. I didn't leave them in. Not really a big deal. Let's see, a mummy. I will, yeah, I kinda had to fight you. These things are really hard to avoid, as you've already seen. But at least they're easy enough to kill. You still have Ghost Sword, and then you're good to go. And yet again, to so re reiterate from before, um, use Post Sword on the Mummy Bandit, the blue one, and you'll one-shot the other Bandage Boys. And, of course, level 12 Shattered Sword. Yeah, should have used that before, but oh well. <laughs> eh. Let's see. Hopefully no battles on the way out. Um... 16 spring spots. I might want to come back here for a quick level. Um, I might, actually. I might. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, oh my god. Uh, um, uh, fuck. <laughs> That's pretty much the operative word for this. Um, okay! Four guardians! <laughs> Um, sure, let's, let's go ahead and kill them. We can try. We can do it. Yeah, take that. Yeah, we can do this. Oh, we're so lucky. We're screwed. Uh, at least we can uh, insult them before we die, brutally. At least their range sucks. Yeah, this battle's kind of a plot-driven here. Uh, pretty much how it goes, if Hero dies, it ends, or if Gwen and Lucia dies, it ends. So, yeah, just defend, you're not gonna win. It's as simple as that. I mean, you can use Game Shark codes if you really wanted to, but, I mean, yeah, just, just die, you're, gonna, you're going to anyway. <laughs> yeah, oh, Gwen didn't die. Oh, okay. Um, never mind what I just said before. Yeah. Well, we're still standing anyway. Um... Can we run inside? They're too big to fit in there. What? I'm a firing my laser! That was awesome. Do we need experience points for that? Because we kinda should. That's like, what, 484 experience points and 400 silver from that? Uh, yes please. That would be a butt ton of levels for right now. And, and the uh, money isn't too bad either. <laughs> If only. And yeah, Lucia is actually not the destroyer, you horny bastard. That's what we're trying to do. By the way, we have a dead chick with us, she kinda needs help. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, can we just go? Just gonna walk by you here or not. Oh my god, a woman? What is this? There are no womans in this game. At least so far, anyway. I haven't, haven't seen anyone else. Um, oh, many, a, a number of things. Um, or that, yeah, yeah, a monster. Yeah, that totally just happened. Wait, no, it didn't. <laughs> oh, he's lying. Oh, I, I get it. Hero's lying. Oh, I, I get that. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. I just love this game. <laughs> 
Oh, I love the dialogue and all that. I really do. Oh yeah, by the way, Lucia's still kind of dying, too. <laughs> we might want to go tend to her wounds and all that. Like her cursed soul, for one thing. Yeah. Maybe if you pray to an Althena statue 100 times, we'll bring her back. We can help her. Like with Eris. Yeah, you can, you can hack her back to life or something. I remember, there's so many bonus ways you can bring her back. Just use Game Shark for one thing. There's other tricks I'm sure you can do, too. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't faint earlier. Although the boss did kill her. Did he? No, no he didn't. The, uh, the foursome did. <laughs> Four Guardians, one Lucia. You do the math. <laughs> Gross. So, um, hey. How you doing? Oh, so, so What's far, new? You won't... Ah. She sounds kinda... Kinda bad. Kinda really bad. Um, we have a healing nut. Would that help? Yeah, there's... Well... Do we have someone who can lift a curse? I mean, Hero can't really use healing magic. Gwyn has Heal Litany, which did help. Litany, however you pronounce that. I just say Litany, like Lidney or whatever. Even though it's the yeah, L-I-T-A-N-Y. I can I can spell, by the way. Yeah, get back on the couch. Yeah, that was kind of weird. He said he he sealed their powers. Well, then we're kind of screwed. So to speak. Um, I mean, Ruby, aren't you a red dragon? Like, help us out here? Something, maybe? Or so she says, anyway. Hey, hey, Leos, this Venus sets his dick. <laughs> that would be the one. Um, we kind of do. Since we just met you, and first people to actually know you and all that. Oh, okay. Um, anything else? A apparently she's not. She is in, she's in incredible pain, for one thing. Oh, crap. Way to help us out with that. Okay, do you know of one? Can we do anything else? Oh, Oh, okay. Ron Farn, the village of LARPA. All right. There's hope! Um, yeah, we do. We're in no time crunch. The, it's, the funny thing about RPGs, they give you, like... Ah, oh, excuse me. They say you have, like, oh, we have no time to do this. Although, really, you can dick around as much as you want, really. There's no... I mean, the game gives you a sense of urgency, because you're so develop with the characters, you like you really become a part of their story and you want to help them along the way. But I mean outside of that, I mean they give you no like actual like oh there's a countdown for that sort of thing. But I mean that's one thing Lunar 2 does very, very well. You get so involved with the characters and their stories that you're right there with them and you really want to you want to see how they improve, how they grow throughout the story and how they deal with their problems and all that and how they grow from them. It's it's so well written, the whole storyline. It's so well done. Anyway, yeah, Ruby and Lucia, they were kind of not blending very well. Yeah. But anyway, apparently Gwen has a, had a boat tucked away there that we could never use before. But oh well. Alright, so you coming along too? We could use a heal healer with us. You were just fine for the loose fire. What gives? Aw, you're making me blush. Okay, well we can do that. So let's head off to LARPA on our love boat. Love boat, love boat, it's the love boat. Going to sail away to our dreams. That's the love boat song, I just made that up out of the top of my head. Wow. <laughs> yes, that was the love boat song. <laughs> Did I really just do that? Yes, I did. Oh. <laughs> oh, I am so glad to be re in this game. This is so much fun. Anyway, we made it to the village of LARPA, which we'll be exploring for next time on Let's Replay Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. This has been Iron Movie signing off, guys. Have a nice day, and thank you for watching.